Hola, soy Senora Holbrook. I am going to be your DLI Spanish teacher here at Timpu next year, and I wanted to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what's going on here at Timpu. And this is the only time you'll hear me speak English, and I'm speaking English so that your parents can understand as well. Um, okay, so if you've been in the DLI program since first grade, um, your next step is to come to, here to Timpu, and um, you actually have two options. Your first option is to enroll in the DLI 5 honors class, which is normally period two. Your other option is to enroll in any of the other sections of AP Spanish. Um, the AP Spanish class and the DLI 5 honors class are exactly the same um, as far as cur curriculum goes. Um, the, the goal for both of these classes is to help you prepare to pass the AP exam. And so we do um, basically the same thing in both classes. So if period two doesn't work with your schedule, um, feel free to enroll in any of the other AP classes. I think there'll be periods four and six next year, but I'm not positive. Um, so anyway, AP Spanish Language and Culture or DLI 5 honors, either will work. Also, another thing to consider is some colleges, if you're um, looking at colleges and would like um, kind of a boost on admissions, they really like to see AP classes. So if you'd prefer to take AP, um, uh, the only difference is AP, you're just going to be mixed in with other Spanish students that have taken Spanish here at Timpu, which I have found actually to be really great. It's a really, I think it's really fun to mix the DOI kids and the regular AP kids because you both have different strengths and can really help each other. Um, so that is my recommendation. Okay, we have a really cool program here at Timpu. If you pass the AP exam, um, you can then move on and take um, bridge classes. So we have three rotating bridge classes. Um, we do them through UVU. Uh, there is a UVU instructor that comes in once a week and teaches um, Spanish, teaches the class, and then I teach it the other days of the week. So we kind of co-teach it. Um, you will receive college credit for it, and it's an upper division college course, which is the only, this is the only course that's upper division that's offered concurrent enrollment. So it's an amazing opportunity. Um, so passing the AP exam with a three, four, or five is a prerequisite. If, the, if for some reason you don't feel like you're ready to take the AP exam your freshman year, um, you don't have to take it. You can still take the AP or the DLI class and then not take the exam and then you can repeat AP the second year, your 10th grade year, and take the AP exam then. Either way works. I try to rotate the curriculum so that it won't be the exact same class two years in a row. So hopefully that helps. So um, the idea is if you pass the AP exam your freshman year, and you can take three years of bridge your sophomore, junior, and senior year. And depending on what you get on the AP exam, you could graduate close to having a minor in Spanish. So it's really an amazing opportunity, and I, um, and it's exciting. I, the first, our first DLI group came through. Um, they're now juniors in the bridge program, and it is so fun and amazing to see their progress, um, how much they've grown and learned since their freshman year, and how it's kind of all comes together uh, after so many years of study, and it all comes together, and they're really doing some amazing things. Um, so again. Your options are AP Spanish, um, any of the periods that's offered, or the DLI 5 honors class. Any, either option works, they're the same thing, so whatever works best for your schedule and you feel like it would be best for you personally, go for it. Um, I love teaching Spanish. I think it's so fun and the students are amazing. Um, and we do a lot of fun things. So we work hard to prepare for the exam because we have to if you want to prepare for the exam, but we also have a lot of fun. And so I hope that next year in Spanish, um, no matter if you're in DLI 5 or in AP Spanish, that either way um, we'll have a really good experience together. Um, please feel free to contact me um, through email. My email is Kristen H. That's K-R-I-S-T-E-N-H at provo.edu, and I'm happy to answer any questions or concerns. So welcome to Tempio.